Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today what I'm going to show you folks is how we get this ready for a, a lathen inspection number one, but we've also worked it out where either the electrician or the contractor, the general contractor on this specific job is my buddy. His name is Roland Smith. His phone number is 531-5699, area code 510, Oakland fella. Anyway, what we're going to do here is He's got this, and I get this year after year after year. Folks call me all the time and say, Kirk, can I coordinate it with you and the electrician or whoever where you, the city wants to see paper behind this box here, guys. You can't go flush and put a little ring around here. I've seen that 20 times. You can't do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide some paper under here. Now, a vertical tie, and I want, the city says six inches. We want to go about a foot. Same here. I want to go about a foot. And what I do is I look for the pipe. Okay, I can see where the first pipe is of wires, and I can see where the rest of them are. This is actually going to take me about, oh, 15, 20 minutes, but I'll give you an idea what the heck we're talking about. Then we're going to wire it, and I, we're going to finish lathing and everything, but I'm actually going to put the cement back here, and I'll show you how to put the cement back here and feather out the scratch coat, because who knows how long it'll be before we come back here to do the actual cement work. It could be a week, could be a month. Uh, Things tend to happen. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll go here. Now I'll measure my, the paper I need. Again, I want about a foot on my vertical overlaps, if I can get it. And actually, I can get it. And because I'm going to be fishing this paper behind these studs, and here I already know, because I've done this a few times, that I need to split this paper in half. Okay. You probably say, why do that? And I'll show you why. Now. What I'll do is I'll look at that pipe again, and I see it's, it's about right here. So I, I want to get my foot and a half overlap here. The waterproofing is why we're here, guys. We want this watertight. So it's uh, kind of time consuming stuff, but it's definitely necessary to fish, fish this in here so that we can get a good tie in. And this is not even the actual cement work but we'll get to that stage now I'm looking for my rip and I want my rip to go there it is just perfect all right now I've got I've got a good enough overlap here now I'm gonna tack this side up and make sure I'm okay I'm I'm secure in there I got a couple extra feet over here a couple extra feet is, is better than short guys then we just feel our way here we feel it what we want is, we got our mud seal about right up here. Then we break down so that the paper and the craft paper underneath here passes that mud seal. We don't want water going here. And you can feel that. You can feel it. But the mud seal is not what this video is about. The, this video is about waterproofing those pipes. Okay, now that we have, let me get in here, that pipe there tucked in as nice as we can get it. By the way, guys, Turn the electricity off. You better believe we have the electricity turned off. And what I'll do is now I'll fish little pieces in. And uh, let's see, I'll look back there and see the wires. And okay, I'm gonna cut out for the wires. The wires are gonna go in this slot. And I'm gonna do this back and forth, back and forth until I I counter that those wires. So this one's going to go on top like this, going to slide right down over the wires. We do that a number of times. Anyway, for the sake of not this, gonna, I want to show you something different when we get to that point, the, the scratch coat. You get an idea how to waterproof this. Remember guys, we've got to overlap this a foot in both directions and fish, people, fish little pieces of paper up and around those wires. That's the whole idea why we're doing this, the watertight everything. All right, guys, we've got, we fished stuff in there for about 15 minutes, Jason and myself. Now what I'll generally do is I'll, I'm going to cut the piece of paper and I'll slide one more on top because I want to get my uh, tie-ins really, really nice. Okay, so now this one is covering the wire and now it gives me something a little bit more solid to tie in. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, guys. The idea is to get that in there, and then now we're going to do the wire. We're going to fish the wire in the same particular way. Uh, we'll just show you that when we're doing the cement work. 
and prior to doing the cement work, I'm going to take a tube of Sikaflex polyurethane caulking and, and, and cover these wires here. I'm going to put little fat pancakes around the wire because we really want to seal that to this paper. And the polyurethanes, man, they do a great job doing that. Okay, guys, Jason helped me put this piece here. I'll give you another tip, and trust me, I've been doing this for years, so I know this is kind of technical, but what I like to do is one solid piece of wire if I can. The reason is, if I fished a whole bunch of pieces behind here, remember this is very fragile, this top here. You bend it too much, you're going to crack this. It's like cast iron. So now I slit it down the middle. One solid piece down here. The wire does have a which way it goes on proper. It's on proper right now. It's keyed. And we mark the studs so when we cover this, we know where they are. We've got to be in the stud. So what I'll generally do now is we'll put it all back together. Then we're going to take this wire, pack it down. I'm about to hook up my noisy compressor in a minute, and we're, we'll staple it all off. Then we're going to mix up the cement to go in back of this. Before I put the cement on, of course, I will have those wires caulked. And again, I, I said polyurethane caulking earlier. There's so many different brands you folks choose which, which ones you like. But in about 10, 15 minutes, we're gonna, I'm going to staple this off with a big gun and go into the studs every six inches, fellas. Uh, then we'll show you how we do the cement work. Okay, guys, we are hustling right now. My buddy, Roland, he's going to fasten this in a minute. What I've got is hot mud here. And this particular trowel I'm using, it is designed for swimming pools, but I'm using it for this because it's so big. This is, I can get way behind here and hit those wires. We're using a really hot mud, which it's already getting stiff. So when I am finished with getting the mud behind here, and it's only gonna go as far behind, guys, when I hit those wires, it, it just takes some real skill to get in there. And right now, we're a little bit too close, so we're gonna pull this back a little bit more, like so. Oh, a little bit more. I need a little bit more room to get back there. And I'm hustling because they put some accelerators in here. We got a lot of accelerators. This is luminite. And right before it hardens completely, it's going to harden in 10, 10 minutes. My buddy Roland's going to put a couple. He gets the fun job of straightening this out, making sure it's straight and true in all the directions. We're going to give him a hand and tack it on there or screw it on there. Roland's pulling this apart because, man, I have no clue as far as electricity. I'm just helping him straighten it. Pulling the meter to get the bus bars to be non-live. We don't want live. Not so when we we're doing this. Electrocuted in the meantime. Anyway, we've got his handy dandy uh, level. We're going to put some screws in here. And next time you see us, we'll show you the part that I really want to show you as far as the scratch. All right, guys. Uh, Roland went ahead and fastened this down, and what that did is it sucked this box in. True and plumb, now all the cement back there is solid, the caulking's mixed in with it. And what I do is, I don't know when we're coming back, guys. Sometimes it could be weeks, sometimes months. But anyhow, I, I put my key right here. And now I have my scratch coat, so when I come back, I put my scratch, then the brown, and I feather into this. I already have my mechanical bond. We're all the way around it. Uh, same thing over here, we're eight inches around it. The top is not all, uh, I'm, I'm fine with what's behind the box. So basically we're tied in so that when we place our next finish over it, we get no hairline cracking around it. For those of you uh, who thinks Roland probably does a lot of little stuff, he does complete homes, additions. Again, Roland is located here in Oakland. Uh, so we're in Alameda. Anyhow, folks, uh, if you like little tips like this, uh, Click above this video, um, subscribe if you want a, more tips like this, and you have questions below me in the comments box, and just put, hey, Kirk, show me this, show me that. If we can, we will. My name is Kirk, Jason on the camera, and as usual, guys, we'll see you on the next one.